Hey guys, Miss Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Beat You Tea Corner. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I got my burgundy hair color for the fall season. I wanted to show you how I did a non invasive way of coloring my hair. I didn't use any bleach to do this process. So, in this video, I'm going to be using hair from Supernova off of AliExpress, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the hair that I'm using. But if you're doing it to your natural hair, just skip through. I'll have a timestamp below in the description box. Let's get started. the hair arrives in a standard DHL Express bag and it arrived to me in approximately three days from the time it was shipped out so here are the contents of the bag they threw in some flexi rods into the purchase so I got four bundles of hair and a frontal like I said this is from AliExpress vendor supernova hair and um, I got the Brazilian body wave hair. Never ever had Brazilian body wave before. This is my first time. My favorite hair origin, if I had not mentioned, is Malaysian. Supernova hair comes packaged in a standard polythione bag. It tells you the hair origin and length at the bottom here. And you can see the store company, you can see the vendor's company name here on the polythione bag. I have inches 24, 24, 22, and 20. I also have a 16 inch frontal. This is my first frontal. I wanted to start off by looking at the frontal first with you guys and examining this. And it is a lace frontal. I already I know I have to bleach the knots. The lace is a lot darker than my skin tone, so I have to bleach the knots. And I want to take an in-depth look at the hairline of the lace as well as show it to you. But here's the lace in the hairline. Has some plucked baby hairs here. Um, I do see I'm going to... The hairline is not bad. But I do see I'm going to have to do some custom work to the hairline. But um, I've seen very straight, ugly looking hairline frontals online. And this one is a decent looking hairline. So we're just going to have to do minimal customization to this. So now we're just going to take a look at the 24 bundle. So here's the 24 inch bundle. It has a gorgeous S body wave, you guys. The standard body wave texture. Beautiful, beautiful luster. On camera, it looks like it's black, but it is a actual one feet. I can see it under this lighting. I don't know if you guys can see it also. It has some high tone, high low, high tones in it as well as some low tones. And I'm not getting any shedding right now. Not one strand came out of my hand. That is a good sign. One of the things, I feel like this hair is very strong. It feels very strong. I like it. I really like how the hair feels. It has an all around um, evenness to it from weft to tip, which I really like. The bundle is extremely small. I have received 24 inch bundles a lot. This is by far maybe the smallest 24 inch bundle I've received. So I would say the longer lengths you are, the more bundles you will need, um, even with a frontal. This is an extremely, extremely small bundle. The, construct the construction of the wefting on this um, particular vendor's hair bundles is very beautifully wefted. It's double wefted for security, um, so that will help with um, you know minimizing shedding. As well as there are hardly any visible bearding like the bearding is minimal so now let's start with the hair color you're gonna need some volume developer I'm using 40 cream volume developer but you can use any level you want I'm using this because I really want it to be bright you're gonna need a mixing bowl of course some brushes I have two you're going to need a color beaker and that is to measure out um, the volume developer and here is the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using high color blacks, H22 black sapphire, as well as the high color highlights in magenta. I have three, three of them. And I'm also going to be using the high color violets, H19 true violet. And because I want a burgundy undertone towards the center. You're also going to need some gloves. And everything that you're going to be working with should be ready to lay and laid out. I'm going to start with the longest lengths, which are the 24 inches. As you guys can see, I have a lot of color 
because I have a lot of bundles to color. And if you're doing this to your natural hair, please do a test strand. I'm starting with the magenta and I'm gonna go ahead and follow the directions on the box and just mix the 40, the 40 volume developer with the magenta. Like I said, I'm using it on raw black hair, so I'm using a higher cream developer. Again, if you're doing it to your natural hair, go ahead and do a strand test and I suggest starting with like a 30 in opposed to a 40. You're gonna take your beaker and follow the directions on the box of the coloring mixture and put the right amount in. That's all I did. I did not um, alter it in any way, shape or form. I followed the directions. It's super easy. So I'm gonna take my first bundle and like previous tutorials I've done before, I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna give myself a stopping point because I want the tips to be the brightest. And I'm making sure to apply tons of pressure, spreading the hair, making sure that I coat every single hair of the, every single strand of the hair with the color mixture. Because this is a less aggressive procedure, I'm really taking my time and continuously building up the color and I it, it really took me a long time to make sure every single strand had the um, color mixture on it because you definitely don't want to spread the hair and you see black so yeah just go ahead take your time layer the color constantly layering and building up up the product I put layer on top of layer just making sure I saturate the hair that's really it so I'm gonna just do the tips of this and then I'm gonna start I'm gonna let it process for about five to eight minutes and I'm while in the meantime I'm just gonna do the tips of the second longest bundle and then I'm gonna come back to that one and I'm going to start bringing it up to my desired um, length where I want the brightest bundles to be and because it's the same process, I'm just gonna skip right past this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and continue um, coloring the bundles. I'm taking it up almost to the weft of it, not quite. And because it's the longest length, it's going to be the bottom. I want the most red on the bottom, and that's why I did it that way. So just like before, I'm going ahead, I'm applying pressure, I'm spreading the bundles, I'm making sure I saturate the hair with the color. I'm being very, I'm being very giving with the mixture, really, really saturating the hair. I'm I mean, I wanted to see not one strand of black. Everything has to be colored. And like I always say, what you do on the top, you must do on the bottom. So flip it over, spread the hair out, apply pressure. Um, don't be afraid to apply pressure and get your brush really in between every single strand of hair. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it up and do the same thing to the next bundle, but I'm not gonna show that because it's tedious. So I'm gonna go in with the um, violets and I'm gonna start mixing the violets. I'm using one uh, one package of the violets and one package of the magenta and I'm going ahead and I'm mixing it. Of course, because I doubled the amount of the um, semi-permanent dye, I have to double the amount of the volume developer. So I'm following the, the instructions on the box and I'm just doing it twice because I have twice the amount. Out. It's simple math. <laughs> and look how beautiful that color is. Oh my gosh, once I put it on the bundles, it's so gorgeous. So this color is gonna go um, fully onto the 22 inch bundle and that's the middle bundle and that's where I wanna start making it the grading effect of the more um, burgundy undertone and not so magenta. I really am obsessed with my hair color. It's so gorgeous. It came out exactly how I wanted it and I'm so happy. Now needless to say, if you don't want the burgundy undertone and you just want like the magenta red, um, which is, it's still burgundy, but it's more like a, a ruby burgundy I can't explain it but it is more of a blue based red you don't have to use the violet but because I wanted more of a purple based red I used the violet and that gave me that color I hope that makes a lot of sense and the process is the same I'm taking it all the way up making sure that I open up the bundles I open the webs I make sure that I get the color distributed throughout the entire hair and saturate the hair with it and then I'm gonna wrap it up and start working on the next few bundles like I'm not gonna bore you guys I just want you guys to get an idea um, of how I did it if you guys want a coloring technique video like a full technique on coloring um, let me know down below in the, in the comment section and I'll be sure to get you a technique 
video on tips and tricks that you should know when it comes to coloring. But for the most part, this is basically what I do. Um, it, it does change every single time the color um, change. It's not always going to be the same exact technique. Just know that. Um, as you guys can see, I didn't use any bleach and I'm coloring my hair. So now I'm gonna start on the two shortest bundles, which is the 20 inch and my 16 inch closure. As you can see, I put the closure on top of the 20 inch bundle because I want to gauge where it's going to stop bleeding into each other. With me, there should be, I'm, I'm very obsessed with no line of demarcation and that's why I do this because I want the colors to bleed into each other. So the tips of both of the bundles are going to get the um, magenta and the violet mix and then I'm gonna go ahead and start bleeding in my blue black hair color into it because I want the top of my hair to be the darkest so it's the same thing for the tips spreading it out making sure I saturate the hair making sure I see no black getting the color fully onto the hair and then I'm gonna start with the black the blue black mixture so that's the um, blue black mixture right there I already mixed it and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on my frontal first the reason why i'm starting with the frontal first is because i want to be very precise now i know i've been saying put pressure throughout the entire video but if you are working with a frontal or a lace closure you do not want to apply all that pressure because it's going to bleed through on your closure and your closure is going to be black so this is the one part you want to lose you want to use a light hand and be very careful doing this part i mean take your time it took me a long time just to do this like seriously it looks like i'm going fast because the video sped up but it took me so long because it, that is very intricate detail and i wind up using my rat tail comb to go in between the hair so that i can have the blue black dye all over the strands of the hair and you want to be careful not to get your lace messed up um i started like as you guys can see i got a couple of um dots on my lace so I, I didn't really mind because I was gonna cut it anyway, but throughout the rest of it, I made sure to be super careful that I do not get it on the lace that I'm going to need and use. So I basically seal it with my foil and then I'm gonna go in and make a mixture of um, bleach and volume developer because I'm going to go ahead and bleach my knots. I'm using the Wella Charm um, Quick Bleach and the 40 volume developer. I'm making the mixture very thick, probably the same consistency as toothpaste. I don't want it thin at all because I just want my um, bleach mixture to sit on top of the lace and I'm using dab in motions. I'm not really brushing, I'm more so dabbing it lightly because I don't want it to seep down through to where I'm actually coloring the hair. That would be a disaster. I mean, I was so stunned at how perfect this worked out because it did not seep through. My color did not seep through. I mean, it was just perfect. I felt damn near badass. Like, oh my God, look at me, I'm a pro. But no, not really. No, I'm not a pro. But yeah, just take your time, use dabbing motions. And this is also another tedious process, but you can do it. I'm going back to the 20 inch bundle after I finished processing for 20 minutes and I'm now distributing the blue black hair mixture onto it. Like I said, it's going to bleed in and fade in. As you guys can see, I am literally mixing and fading. There will be no line of demarcation. I just can't stand where you see where one color start and where one color ends. No, it's going to be a gradient effect. You definitely wanna make sure you get that into your hair or your bundles or whatever. So this is pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you guys wanna know how I rinse the color out, I let it process for one hour. The box says 45 minutes, but I did one hour. If it is your real hair, please follow the time on the box. Um, but after an hour, I ran it under ice cold water and then I conditioned it for another hour in silicone mix. I did not use shampoo or neutralizing shampoo because that's gonna really take most of the color out. I just used silicone mix conditioner. I let it sit in the hot water for an hour. Then I rinsed it out and let my hair dry. That's it thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and um, leave some comments down below the next video is going to be how I laid my frontal down and did my unit with the frontal so please stay tuned for that and if it's already up I will link it down below in the description box so go ahead and follow me on my social media networks names are somewhere on the screen links are down below and I love you all and see you in my next video bye y'all better hit this thumbs up bye and yeah the swag bags are insane because I have two channels and both my channels were invited out 
I got two swag bags. As you guys know, my boyfriend is very much involved in my channel on my videos. So he represented this channel for you guys and was able to get the swag bag. And we decided together that it was going to be a giveaway. So yay to Jay for that. So 